So hello fellow Bane collectors, and today we're just going to have a little look at this 5 Renton Mark. So my name is Glenn, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. And also see my links down below, I do have an eBay store in which I sell stuff. Maybe I'll sell this banknote, never know. Anyway, this banknote was issued in 1926 under the law 1923, and the Renton Mark was issued in uh, 1924 but the banknotes are dated 1923 to stabilize the currency of Germany because it actually suffered from hyperinflation at the time and it was equivalent to one trillion old marks or they call it paper marks it's just paper currency but before the first world war is actually uh, the gold mark and the initial value of the gold mark was 2,790 marks for one kilogram of gold. One mark equals uh, 358 milligrams. So I'm not going to use ounces because that's, um, you know, I'm not too familiar with ounces. So with this banknote, we have our two serial numbers. So this one has three, six, this one has eight, but you also have one with seven. And they have one lettering. It has an allegorical feature of a, a female carrying wheat. So an allegorical feature just means that it is uh, just to represent something. And as these banknotes were uh, backed by mortgaged land, that was mortgaged to uh, 3.2 billion Renton mark. This is more like a, a, a guarantee of uh, its value compared to the land. And this banknote is actually not legal tender. The banknotes that were legal tender were the race marks. So these banknotes here issued in 1924. This one's 1925. Uh, 29 should I say. And this is the second version of the banknotes. And these were used until um, 1948 and had an exchange rate with uh, East Germany of uh, 1 mark equals 7 rented marks for the first 70 marks and then after that I'm not too sure with the West German mark uh, it was at 1 to 1 for the first 600 and then um, 1 to 10 thereafter and that actually prevented inflation so the last rented mark was actually this one, and there was also a two rental mark issue in 1937, when Germany withdrew the one and two Reich marks from circulation. This was actually the only rental mark banknote. So these circulated along the Reich mark banknotes, and the only Reich mark banknote that was issued in the five denomination was this one in 1942, and that would have circulated alongside the rental mark which at the time would have been the only banknote in circulation until this one was issued. So Germany at the time had a dual combination of Rentenmark and Reichsmarks. Later on I'd say these would have just been legal tender. They were always accepted. And here we have the wheat which represents the Renten bank. So Fund Rentenmark has a wheat on the back. And it has watermarks. So all German banknotes have watermarks. I've made another video on this one, so I won't worry about that one here. And the other banknotes in this denomination are the 10 and 50 renter mark, which I do not have. These are actually a bit more expensive than the Reich banknotes of Reich marks. Uh, and they actually, the first issue goes from one rental mark to 1,000. So 1, 2, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000 rental mark. And a lot of the high denominations are actually very hard and expensive to get. The 1,000 race mark itself is expensive anyway. So anyway, if you like this banknote, that's why I brought it, because I like it, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you ever haven't. And have an awesome banknote collecting time. See my links down below. Bye bye people.